I, I doubt it. You know, I, I just, um, you know, what he, what he did Saturday was really encouraging this past Saturday. Uh, basically, he ran down and, and did something that he's never had training for, and he did it better than most guys do after training, so that, that's a good sign. Uh, did a nice job of avoiding a blocker and uh, used a technique that he's probably seen done. I don't know if he's ever executed, maybe did in high school. And I made a nice tackle, so I mean, it was really, for not, not really knowing what he was doing, that was pretty encouraging. And not, now the real work begins for him, really learning the calls, technique, all that type of thing. He, he did some things last week. We'll see what this week brings. Uh, but he's, he's been cleared medically now, so that's a good thing. And that was last week he was out there, you know, in gear and all that type of thing. So it's just a matter of how quickly he can get caught up and how comfortable he feels. You know, there's a big difference between being cleared medically and then being cleared uh, to, you know, really be able to play. So that, that's the next uh, hurdle for him to overcome. But we'll, we'll give him some work this week, see what happens. Anytime we give up any points, that's not good. And, you know, we're uh, you know, not, not playing well. For, you know, first thing that jumps out at you if you look at the stats is just third down. You know, we've got to do a better job on third down. So that's probably the most obvious thing. And uh, like like most things, it's more more complicated than that. You know, third down is a combination of a lot of different things. You know, what you do first, second down, a lot of times <laughs> plays into that. But uh, I would say if we were looking for one thing to start with, those those. Well, the makeable third downs, you know, third and longs, third and mediums, where you know our percentage should be high of getting off the field. We got to do a better job there. That'd be a good starting point. You know, we, we want the Florida Rosedale, and we, we want the pig this year. We want to run over there and take it from. Them. It's looking good, like the old McCall. You know, I mean, it's early. I mean, it looks like you never got hurt. AJ said that uh, now that he's at Leo and, and can match up with the tight ends in practice, that he's looking forward to the chance to go up against you. I'm, I'm sure he is. We're, we're all be, we'll all be ready for him. Is there some <laughs> trash talk going on at Derby House now? Just a little bit. <laughs> What's he saying? Nothing too bad. Um, I don't know, he just said he's ready to go against me and see how it goes. He's Yeah, he's done a really good job of uh, stepping in and just learning the playbook, getting comfortable with all the calls and what defenses do, and just has really grown um, a lot since he's been here. He's a good fundamentally um, throwing quarterback and a really intelligent kid, so I expect him to keep moving forward. Does he have the natural... The it, you know, the things you look for just in terms of leadership no, and yeah. skill set. Yeah, I think he totally does. He, he understands uh, what goes into this and what it takes to be a good quarterback. And uh, he's just going to keep growing and keep getting better, and I look forward to seeing that. Is it weird not having A.J. around in the quarterback stuff? It's now? a little different, yeah, but uh, it seems a little smaller with uh, only four of us in there now. It's a little crowded with five, but <laughs> uh, it's definitely a little different, but I think we all know he'll do well wherever he plays. They were one in ten. Is that something in your guys' head? You think you took them lightly subconsciously? No, maybe that. Maybe that would be it too. You know, we, uh, we, you know, we came out and I guess we felt entitled a little bit. Uh, but, you know, I guess we learned from our mistakes and uh, you know, we can't do that ever again. So. I mean, I can't speak, you know, for uh, for everybody else, you know. I mean, it shouldn't take anybody lightly. So I don't know what the deal was. They, those guys, I mean, I guess they just came out and they had something to prove, and they did it. Um, you know, just by watching on film, sometimes we'll put dime in or our more skilled guys to cover guys, and and they'll try to, the quarterback will try to run to get the first. And then if we leave our base defense out, they'll throw the ball in the linebacker. So. Hopefully we can figure out something to uh, stop both the run in the pass and uh, be, be able to match up to get off the field in third down.